Hello everybody and welcome to the Whiskey Dictionary. Has this ever happened to you? This week's top five are things to do with your whiskey if your cork breaks in half. Now, I am going to sacrifice my barrel of dovetail here to get the cork off. Give me a sec. All right, my bottle of dovetail is destroyed. So this is the top and the cork is still in the bottle. And just to kind of prove my point, that is in there nice and solid. So first step or first tip, it's a cork. Use a corkscrew, right? Pretty easy. I leave this guy in my truck all the time just in case I have some sort of cork emergency where I need to remove a cork from something. And you can easily envision how this would go in there. Yeah, just pluck it out. It's a cork. It's going to come out super easy, barely an inconvenience. <laughs> so I hope you guys got that reference. All right, next is uh, one that I actually kind of like only because it's, it's less common. Now, let's say that this is really in here good and for whatever reason you don't have a corkscrew. If this is still flush with what was in there, let's say it broke really clean, you can use super glue. Now, if you, I'm not gonna do this just because I wanna save this for my next trick, which I'll actually do. But if you just put a little bit of super glue on there, don't overdo it because you don't want leakage out the sides. Otherwise, this thing's gonna be stuck in there a lot harder than just friction. So put a little bit of super glue on this, put that right on top, hold it for a little bit, give it, you know, a couple minutes or so, make sure it's really in there, and then opt for a nice, gentle, steady pull rather than a jerking motion, otherwise it's gonna rip right off and the super glue is not gonna hold. But that should do it for you, especially if you use a good super glue. All right, trick number three, probably my favorite. So what you're gonna to wanna to do, get yourself a screw. And you're going to want to kind of get that thing started by hand and then get your power tools and just kind of drill in there. Now, what you're gonna to wanna to do here is go pretty gentle. Pretend like you're drilling into sheetrock without using a wall anchor. That's kind of what you're looking for. So. All right, you can see when it comes out the bottom. Now, the reason that you wanna do it gentle is because you wanna make sure that you're keeping that cork as intact as you can. Now, get a pair of pliers. Grab that bad boy. Pull it right out of there. So pretty easy, nothing is in that bottle. And that's really what we're going for. But here's the thing, sometimes it's stuck. Sometimes you can't get that thing out of there or sometimes it's really crumbly and we need to push it into the bottle. Now that is a thing. I'm not gonna get that out of there. <laughs> so tip number four, if this thing is in the, bo the bottle, one of the obvious things that you could do is transfer it into a decanter. Now that should be kind of all that you need to do, but here's the thing. If it's crumbly, it's gonna have pieces in your whiskey and you don't want that. So you could do one of two things. Um, the, the good thing to do would be get some cheesecloth. Now cheesecloth is not a thing that everybody just has on hand, but if you're you know, a chef or a cook or just enjoy cooking, you might have it. If you have it, great. It should catch pretty much all of the debris. If you don't have cheesecloth, use a coffee filter. Oh my goodness, did he just say that? Yes, I did, because some people will say that you're gonna lose some flavor of your whiskey by filtering it through a coffee filter. But you know what makes whiskey taste a lot worse? A disintegrating cork. <laughs> so determine how much you have left. If you need to, then use a coffee filter. If it's really that important to you, it'll be fine sitting without a cork, you know, with a cork floating in there for a couple of days if you wanna order some cheesecloth online or find some other way to filter it out of there. But either way, get it into a decanter get all of the junk out of there, put it back into the bottle, or if you happen to have another similar bottle or an empty bottle hanging around, then fill that one up as well. It's always a good idea to keep a cork or two on hand that are intact because most of them will fit into each other. So that's tip number four. Now tip number five, this one I actually really like because I didn't see it anywhere else. Um, this one is using just a regular liquor pour, right? So if, if the cork is in here, you want, if you don't care about the bottle, but you just want to get the whiskey out of there, use this. It's going to take you a couple minutes to, you know, pour out of this, but you're not going to get any of the pieces. I mean, that little, that little spout in there is so small, you're not going to get any pieces out of there. If you really do, you might just have to pluck them out of your, out of your glass. Oh, well, it's a little extra fiber. It's all good. So if none of these methods work, you go to kind of my favorite method, which is just to say the hell with it and knock the bottle back in a night, invite a friend over and have some fun. Cheers.